The man who's charged with a hate crime for threatening protesters with a knife in North Buffalo was supposed to be in court this morning, only he didn't show. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Instead, the DA says the court got a defiant and threatening email from him saying that he won't show. So what happens now? 20 Sides' Danielle Church has more. Erie County DA John Flynn says 47-year-old Michael Kremen of Franklinville allegedly wrote that email. In it, Kremen says he won't wear a mask in court, but it's the second part that Flynn says is the most concerning. If you do issue a warrant for my arrest, it is unlawful, and please understand that anyone that approaches my person, wife, or property, especially arm wearing a badge and or face mask, I, I consider to be very dangerous threat to my life, and my Lord will severely punish those in violation of his order of protection over my life. Kremen is charged on multiple accounts for displaying a knife to some Black Lives Matter protesters on Hurdle back in August. Flynn says Kremen Bad repeatedly up, used racial up. slurs and hateful speech in addition to pushing one of the protesters. But that email alone makes him worry. Yet Judge Barbara Johnson Lee would not issue an arrest warrant. She instead set a new court date for October 19th. Under New York's new bail reform that went into effect at the beginning of the year, it says you have to wait 48 hours to give someone the chance to come back to court. Flynn argues the email is Kremen giving notice. He never plans to show up, though. They put in there a provision that said, if you know someone's willfully not coming in advance, okay, you don't have to wait 48 hours. They did do a catch-off for this right here. For whatever reason, the court decided to disregard that. I reached out to Johnson Lee's office to find out why she didn't grant an arrest warrant, but I'm still waiting to hear back. Flynn tried to ask a superior court judge for an arrest warrant instead this afternoon. He could not get one because they do not have jurisdiction over a city court matter. As for that email, Flynn says Kremen won't face any consequences for it. He can only be charged with something if he takes any actions afterwards. In Buffalo, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.